don't see the tape. Perfect. Okay. Elka, give it to me straight. I think I'm done. How did I do? You did an amazing job. Yeah? Good job. You think? Really nice. So basically what you're saying is that this gift will make my boyfriend stay with me forever and never leave me? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what else has been here forever? Chilliwack. Well, not forever, but for 142 years. And a heritage like this is definitely rare, so we have to preserve it. And that is exactly what a newfound society is trying to do. Last year, this happened. While the Irwin Block's demise was inevitable, it symbolized the fragile nature of our city's heritage and how we just might lose it if we're not careful. With so much at stake, these three locals realized there was no organization advocating for and promoting heritage. So they created the Heritage Chilliwack Society. We came to realize um, over the past probably three years that there is a lack of a heritage organization of any kind in Chilliwack and so we just took it upon ourselves to do some research to determine a if there was an interest and b how we we would go about forming uh, a heritage group. I would say yeah the most important thing right now is to educate the public. I find talking to different people there are passionate people that understand what is being done and what's not being done and I find that there are many, many people that don't know that we don't even have a Heritage Commission or why we would need one. So it is education. It was with encouragement from Heritage BC after a visit to our humble town that they incorporated the nonprofit last August. And in that short period of time they've managed to accumulate 55 members. And already they have started a small monthly series on heritage in the Chilliwack Times. But their first initiative will be taking part in National Heritage Week, which runs from February 16th to 22nd. This week's theme for Heritage Week is Main Street, Heart of the Community. And we've taken that theme and we are going to highlight parades that have happened in downtown Chilliwack. So we're uh, going to be posting some photographs of parades along Main Street in the Royal Hotel. Parades were a way of drawing people into the community, and they were a huge draw over the years. I wonder if we could do like a rotating Heritage Chilliwack window here. It's fantastic. Absolutely. This society understands the value of our heritage and how it can be a huge draw for people, like Anita Unger. I've always lived in suburbia. I raised my children in the Lower Mainland, and I wanted to make a change. So when I visited Chilliwack a couple of times as an option, I fell in love with the downtown and I fell in love with the lifestyle that it's more affordable here. Um, I can walk to absolutely everything and it just gives you a completely different life experience. It's reassuring that there is finally an organization that is helping maintain our roots, ensuring that we keep that character which makes Chilliwack such a unique place. In downtown, I'm Jonathan Horst for Go Fraser Valley. I guess so, hey?